Alright, hey guys, it's Kid Flash here, and I'm excited. I'm starting my first Let's Play ever Super Mario 64. Okay, I'm just gonna start a new file here. Uh, I know this game is overdone, but uh, it's my favorite game, so I felt like this should be the one I do first. But, anyways, Princess Peach invites, invites Mario to the castle for cake. That's pretty much the only story you hear in this game. Here's Latiku, our horrible cameraman. He, he's not fit to be a cameraman. He needs to go to cameraman school. He sucks. Anyways, you see this stunning 3D. I'm sure it was stunning back in the day. Yeah, it's still good now. I like how those trees are always the same sprite every time you look at them, no matter which direction you look at them from. But anyways, here's Mario. Or you don't need. I don't need to explain Mario. But anyways, he just teaches you how to do stuff. You can jump, you can sidestep, you can long jump, which you'll be hearing the majority of this. Oh, you'll be hearing the majority of this. Oh my goodness, Latiku, I did not want to talk to you. Could you not see that? But anyways, he's no, he's just going to explain how the camera works. But yeah, you'll be hearing this long jump a lot in this play play playthrough. If no one's home, then, like, why would you say no one's home? Would you want to be silent? Jeez, oh, well, come on, Bowser. And you know this Bowser. Oh, wow, that's a great way to start this off. But anyways, jump into this painting, and I'll send you to the first world, Bomb Bomb Battlefield. It's a mission. Scale, Bomb Bomb, Summit, Power, Throw Off Mountain. I don't know. I can didn't read it that well. But this is basically how the game works. You... Oh, wow. I don't know, do I really need to explain this? You go up, do the mission they say, oh wow, that water ball just sniped me. But yeah, you do the mission they say, and you'll get the star. That's, that's the entire gameplay of this entire game. I really don't need to explain at all. And I'm so glad I did that on my first try, man. I was really nervous about that. Anyways, there's a teleporter here that sends you to the top of the mountain. And you just talk to this bomb bomb here. Oh, cool. Um, you, you can't own land, dude. Really? Okay, so he has the power star. Okay. Really? You just you just told me how to bosses have a like issue about just telling you that. Anyways, you just pick him up from behind, and instead of throwing him off the mountain, which everyone thinks, you throw him on the ground. I don't really know, because, but actually I do know. It's because you're not, it's not him you're hurting, it's his self-esteem. I mean, think about it, if some pint-sized Italian just came on and started whipping your ass, wouldn't you be? Wouldn't that be a pretty big blow to the ego? <laughs> but no, anyways. After you hit him three times, which I'm about to do right here, he just, oh, you know what, you just beat me. Yeah. Isn't that like treachery telling you how to beat Bowser? But anyways, he's just telling you how to, you can select a star from the main menu, not the main menu, but the world menu again. But there's your first star, the MacGuffins of the game. Basically, you collect stars, and with enough stars, you can go to more worlds to get more stars, and with enough more stars, you can beat the game. That's... I think that's all the explaining I really have to do in this game. That voice in his head just telling you can now open doors with one stars. Anyways, let's start our second mission, Foot Race with Koopa the Quick. Oh look, the m mission's called Foot Race with Koopa the Quick and there's a Koopa. The mental complexity of this game is astounding. Yes. Oh, he just wants to race to the top of the mountain? Okay, I can do that. You really don't have to try this hard, that hard, this guy's real pushover. Like, you can, you can take your sweet time. Oh, oh, I failed that. Oh, well, no, well, it's really no big deal. Okay, I hopped onto the fence, and Koopa's beating me. If Koopa really beats me, I am going to be really ashamed of myself. Just jumped off the bridge, I've never seen him do that before. Usually because I'm always ahead of him. Anyways, yeah, once again, you don't really have to worry about this guy too much. Oh look, there are three steel balls now. Difficulty just revamps so much. Okay, 
Okay, let's see if I can do this during Koopa Race. Yay, I did it. Hooray. And just go in this can- this, not the cannon, the teleporter and it'll send you right to the top of the mountain where you need to race. It's funny because if you use the total inaccurate cannons which you get, well you can't get them now, but if you use them, they just call you out for being a- oh there's Koopa right now. They'll just call you out for being a cheater, but if you use the precision teleporter, it's no problem. I wanna see him hurt him. Oh, he didn't hurt him. Oh, come on, it's so badass when he does that. Oh well. There are lots of moves in this game, some of them I won't use, like this crouch baseball dive kick and break dance kick. I don't know why they even designed that. I don't think I'll ever use them. But here you go, and you've won it fair and square. Yes, fair and square. Anyways, he just gives you the star right here. And there you go, there's our second star. Making some pretty good progress if I do say so myself. I mean, 160th of the game, I guess. Well, let's go back in. And oh, yes. This mission. Shoot to the island of the sky. This one's pretty easy. Basically, just talk to this pink bomb arm. Not punch him, talk to him. The bomb arms, so we don't use cannons. But if you like to blast off, we don't mind. Help yourself. We'll prepare the cannons in the course for you to use. Bon, boy bon voyage. So he just opens up the cannons. And you can use them to shoot yourself to places. There's one in almost every course. There's some of them they don't have. I can think of like two or something. But most of them do have cannons. This is how you work. You just aim where you want to shoot. And press A and it shoots you to the place. But you don't want to use this cannon. You want to go to here to use this cannon. And basically the way you want to aim this is instead of to the island, you just want to aim straight up and gravity and math parabola will send you down. I don't, I don't care how it, it, how it works, it just does. But anyways, go to this box right here, and there's a star in here. Could you believe that? That's like a really prestigious box. I mean, some boxes have coins, some boxes have one-ups, but no, this box has a star. That's a badass box. Okay, yeah, the voice in her head is just telling us we can enter three star doors now. Okay, oh, find the eight red coins. It's 100 coin time, guys. Okay, yeah, usually when I do red coin missions, I'll also do the 100 coin missions just because it's convenient. Some of them, there, some worlds, it's more convenient to do otherwise, but for this one, I'm just gonna do the 100 coins. Where did that one coin go? No, I need you. Come on, wait. No, don't disappear. No! Oh, oh man, that's bad. There, if you go my route, there's only 101 coins to get. So be careful to not miss any coins. I just missed one, so that means I have to get every single coin, and I can't miss a single one unless I fail. Not unless I fail, or else I'll fail. But yeah, my route basically means you have to kill everything on this entire place. Everything in this I in this entire place is just going to be dead by the time I'm finished here. That's kind of sad. Mario's like the mass bomb bomb murder. Anyways, kill. Kill these bomb bombs here. It's like kind of a little area, the downward area. You usually have 16, I think, coins by the time you're. No, not 16. There's more here. I think I killed those bomb bombs already. I'm kind of nervous though, because I can't miss a single coin now. Anyways, kill this guy. Two coin. And over here, here's our first red coin. Basically, in a mission about red coins, there are eight of them. If you play it, all eight, you get a star. Red coins are worth two coins, so that's why it's pretty convenient to do it. You know, at the same time, you get the hundred coin star. Here, you just kill this Goomba trio. There's always, like, three Goombas hanging around each other all the time. I don't know why, they're just their little click. It's almost like the game developers knew that the DS version would have hats that Goombas would wear. See, here's another one. Anyways, if you go into that bush, I think, and just wait there, you can teleport to some other bush. And, yeah. Oh no, I can't miss that coin. But that's a blue coin that Koopa gets paid really well, I guess. But it's worth... how much? Five coins? Yeah. But anyways, with this shell, you want to go to this chain shop, spin around his post a few times, and you'll drop five coins. It's easier with the shell because, you know... 
Did I miss one? Oh my god, did I miss one? I do not want to miss one. Oh, I just hope I didn't. No, usually I have 40 and I missed one, so I'm good. But anyways, go here for two more red coins and another Goomba Trio to kill. And yeah, not much to say. The red needs a 100 coin mission. Anyways, run around all these stumps a few times to get five coins each, bringing us, giving us 20 coins in total. It sounds weird, but not really. I mean, if you found out that running around stumps in your local neighborhood gave you five coins, wouldn't you do it? I mean, I'm not sure about the U.S. dollar to five to coin conversion, but I, it must be a, like a lot because since collecting 50 coins pretty much gives you an extra life, granting you immortality. So come on, like. Let's say the average lifespan is, of a human is like 70 years. Running around this stump is like giving giving you an extra 7 years of life. It's crazy. No wonder Mario never ages any time anywhere. Anyways, that's all the things right here. Here's a box. Destroy that. Three coins. Want to be careful because these coins just go everywhere all the time. Go into this battlefield and there's some more bomb bombs to kill. Let's kill all the ball. Ball almost sniped me again. Oh, I hate how finicky these guys are. Okay. You can kill a bomb bomb with another bomb bomb, like if you throw it on the ground and the explosion hits them, you'll kill both of them, but since the coins will go in like most likely two different directions, I don't want to risk doing that. I think that that's all the bomb bombs in this little area. This room here is... I think this is where that one bush teleports you to. Okay, go down here for a 1-up, and a red coin, and a bomb. If you press that switch, it'll send you back to there. It's kind of like a one-way passage, since you can't go back once you do. Okay, so we're almost done here. Oh, thank god. Okay. Let's just try to do this. Let's see if I can actually do it. Well, I have done it every single time, but still. It's nerve-wracking every single time I do it. it just suck to fail. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. Okay, let's just go back off. No problem. No problem at all. Of course I fail it now. Everything just goes to crap. Oh, Morgan Freeman, damn it. Wow, really? Did the games had to do that to me? It just had to add all the insults to injury that it could possibly could. Jeez. Anyways, kill the bomb here. Corn. Let's try to get do this the intended way. By sliding down the right side to get there. The seventh coin. We only need one more. Which is good. And let's actually show you the mountain. I don't think I've showed you the mountain the entire time I've been here since I've always taken the teleporter. And it's nothing special, but still. Oh, oh. You can steal balls that don't even roll. There's a single sprite every way you look at them. Oh, here's that ball and throw sniping us with those water balloons. I don't know if killing him stops... Yeah, see, a water balloon. Oh, no, I need that coin. I don't know if it stops him from... You know, yeah, see, the water balls are still shooting, so I don't know what it does, but uh, I still need his coin. Anyways, that brings us to 98, and we only need one more red coin, which is awesome. But anyway, it's right here, so just cannon yourself here, climb up this tree, and well, there you go, there's our 100 coin star, but also, there's our red coin star over there. Okay, I just got the 100 coin star. Do you want to save? Yes, I want to save. Let's just drop down there. I don't like you change up. Dog from Miyamoto's childhood. Be a weird dog. But anyways, here's our red red coin star. That's right. And I think that about does it for this episode. Um, click the links on the symbols to go to the, either the next episode, the playlist, or my channel. All right. Until then, see you next time, guys.